Hello everybody, hi, my name is Theo and welcome back to my reaction to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 3 this time. Last time on we got more information about the whole plot that is happening. We had the perilous climb of Viren, Claudia and Terry, who I absolutely don't trust. Still think that Terry might be evil or have some kind of plan. Maybe he's just sabotaging the both of them. Or he's an old servant of Erebus that's polymorphed into an elf. Could be anything like this. Callum is closer to figuring out the mirror and Rayla is back. And I really want to know what she has to say after leaving for two years, hunting Viren, or at least the possibility that Viren is still alive down. And the whole, you know, prejudice of humans versus elves with the dragons visiting the human kingdoms and Andamaya marrying Janai and the problems that her brother brings because I'm not about to say that Janai brings any problems with what she's gonna do because she's not in my opinion as I said last episode after all the fighting that they did against Viren where elves and humans work together the world should be able to get with the speed of Janai and Amaya. So yeah, I really hope that that whole thing isn't a major plotline this season and we move on to Aravos pretty quickly. As always, you can check out my Patreon if you immediately want to watch episode 4 right after this one, as there's early access for this show. So each time an episode of this show drops, the next one is immediately available on my Patreon. Links to that down in the description and in the pinned comment. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Breathtaking. Okay. Oh, also, yeah, it's 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 the Earth book, so Terry's gonna play a big role. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> uh, is he gonna warm up to her immediately? He's not amused. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in two years. Don't you think it's worth staying up a little past your bedtime? She she did leave without saying anything. So why are you back? I guess you must have found Viren, huh? Was he dead after all? I didn't find him. Oh, so you disappeared for two <laughs> years for no reason at all. <laughs> this is Stella. She's a wee cuddle monkey. I found her all alone. She's an Stella, okay. New animal. I kind of got Callum. I know I'm all even hurt you. You know what? I already told you that. I, I don't want to talk. Yeah, but would it be okay maybe if I stay and we just don't talk? Bait is gonna fix this relationship. Uh. Wow, the view <laughs> is just breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> Episode title. Oh, I like this hair. I'll go in and find my dad's staff. You keep watch in case the Dragon Queen comes back. Will do. He had something so special. But I became so obsessed with revenge that I risked losing the best thing I ever had. You. I mean, is there a reason she came back? She's going to leave again? Don't tell me she just came here to reopen the wound and then ditch him again. Where's Callum? He's supposed to welcome the Dragon Queen with the prismatic Shablau. Why, what exactly is a Shablau? Oh, it's like, uh, <laughs> I'm worried about something a little less fun and colorful. It's the gift ceremony. I'm concerned that holding it in the Valley of the Graves is insensitive. Honoring a dragon in a place that is a memorial to so many great humans, some of whom died at their hands, is a... <sighs> but that's exactly the point. There's a history and we're trying to get past that. <gasps> yes, they're here. Is there going to be more explanation about what Ezran is able to do?
Oh my god, she's... She's so big. Well, talk. Say hello. That's going to be a good sign, right? And show the people that it's going to be fine. Oh, I'm really worried about Ibis. Oh, you're not a dragon-sized table, you're a dragon-sized button! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I don't know if I'm rooting for Claudia. actually heard the whisper. It's nice. With the comedy stylings of Crown Guard Soren. Oh no. <laughs> you might recall my name is Soren. <laughs> Stand up, Soren. You are the one who is Soren. <laughs> Normally I like puns, but <laughs> Oh no. Don't explain the joke. Yes, they do. It's very funny. <laughs> He's got it figured out. I like that it works every time now. Careful. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it, Callum. Oh, that's not a sky spell. Shit, it's gonna explode. <laughs> that necklace looks important, yep. Most powerful Sky Mage versus Claudia. The jelly tart was a gift of joy. This painting is a gift of hope and friendship. Shit. I'm so sorry. Of course, as saboteurs. And flee. Lock her in, maybe. Oh. Snake versus bird. Kind of. Ugh. something out we are angry i am angry i have been hurt my dad was killed when i was nine years old he's 11 now okay we all want peace and we all want love but violence tests us in a twisted way it converts us to its cause 
So what do we do? How can we stop this cycle? Violence, loss, pain. Violence, loss, pain. More violence. Stop! Stop. I just want to yell stop. Okay, this is one of the one of my most favorite scenes in the show already. I think about a positive vision. But a faith we can all share. Don't stab him. No. Oh. Build a future together in hope. A future where we can be safe with each other. <sighs> it's not that easy or simple. Because people are still hurting and they are still angry. Somehow we have to hold it all in our hearts at the same time. We have to acknowledge that he is so good at speeches. Lost, but open up our eyes and allow ourselves to hope and maybe forgive and love again. We were going to play some dancing music during the festivities, but I don't know if that feels right anymore. There is a piece I've written that I would like to share. Carvis was going to play. Oh, that's cool. This is called A Song of Love and Loss. I am not the killer, but if you seek to return that staff to its true owner, you pose a greater danger to this world than I can allow. Now he's trying to finish her off, and that way he dies. Probably, right? She's gonna redirect it. No, Terry is gonna come in. Right. And stabbing it back. <laughs> oh, that was deep. I had to. I, I, but... I couldn't let him hurt you. <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he doing this? Did he survive? <laughs> Maybe one last spell. Oh, he's gonna send a warning. Good. My last breath. Breath. Don't you dare make this message something about humans can't be trusted. Just make sure that it's about Claudia and bringing back Eros, not about humans. She's still here. Good. I'm so sorry, and hug. Yeah. So <laughs> Ezran is just the best person. <laughs> oh. The staff of Ziad has been stolen. I'm afraid this can only mean one thing. The fallen star has returned. Fallen Star being Aravos's name, probably, or title at least. Well, this episode was certainly dramatic. No Janai and no Amaya this episode. That's interesting as well. But yeah, most of all, I can't figure out Terry, or what he's after, or if he's mind controlled. I mean, if there really was some mind control spell that Claudia is doing, I think at this point we would have seen her refresh it when Terry did what he did to Ibis. Ibis? I forgot how to pronounce his name. But yeah, Mightiest Sky Mage. He won against Claudia and was about to finish her off because she was going to release the Fallen Star, Erevos. And I guess you can really only kill the Mightiest Sky Mage by stabbing him in the back. And I loved how Azran's speech and the fight got intertwined and the symbolism of it, I, the whole episode was amazing. And I like that the whole visit of the dragons went over kind of well. The beginning was nice. Sorin actually managed to pull off his stand-up comedy, which, you know, props to him. I didn't think he would do it, but the dragon puns seemed to work on Zubeya and the general public that was there. But then the whole Callum and Rayla stuff that happened and Callum is, you know, kind of rightfully pissed off because she did leave him without say saying anything. 
in the middle of the night, he just disappeared to hunt after Vera. And now after two years without finding out anything, she's just back? I think there's something more behind her returning. Otherwise it would be a little odd if she just, you know, Oh, you know, I came back because I wanted to, no particular reason, but good thing I'm back because now I can help you with Erebus and stuff because we got this warning. That's a good coincidence. I would like that less than I would like some kind of reason behind her returning. Yeah, she's still madly in love with Callum and Callum is really hurt. And I hope that they drop this drama soon and just reunite them because I really like them as a couple. As Rayla said, they were something special. But yeah, Ezran and Sim are still amazing, even though Callum fucked up the fireworks display that he wanted to do. But, oh, right, yeah, that was a fire spell, right? Something, something Ignis. So has he figured out more Ar Ar Arcanums, or whatever they're called? Apparently he is more than the Sky Arcanum, because he wasn't holding, like, anything that would make it easier for him to do fire magic like the you know storm in a ball that he had in the first few seasons if so then i guess that's a step in the direction that i want the show to go i want basically the end of the show to maybe be callum with his six elements against Aravos. that would be pretty interesting you know with Ezran and the dragons and Rayla with her fighting skills supporting him that would be a pretty fun fight, I think. And a pretty good finale. Yeah, Erevos. I kind of think at this point that the humans didn't figure out dark magic. It was Erevos and Erevos gave it to the humans. And that's why he's called the Fallen Star, because he betrayed his people or, you know, he, he fell from Star Elf Grace by creating dark magic or something like that. And he's probably the source of all this conflict between humans and elves, maybe. At least that's my theory. But yeah, I'm super excited for the next episode. I just want to get right into it. So just as I said in the beginning, if you want to watch the next episode right now, it's available on my Patreon one week earlier than on YouTube. So if you want to check this out, go to the description or the pinned comments down below. There's a link to my Patreon there. It will help me out a whole ton. Just as liking, subscribing or commenting on this video is gonna help me out and I'd be so thankful for you doing that. But yeah, with all of that out of the way, I hope you'll watch the next episode together with me and until then, bye bye.